It is the news North Idaho has been waiting for after being shut down more than a year. The Lucky Friday mine is back open. The Mine Safety and Health Administration closed the mine after a string of accidents in which two miners were killed. KXY Force Ian Cole is here with what was done to get it back open and what this means for the workers. And Nadine, it means 300 workers were hired and 90% of those are people who were hired back. And the mine officially opened on Valentine's Day. It was a gift for the town of Mullen, Idaho and the Silver Valley after what was a quiet year. When the mine was shut down, miners and ex-miners were mad, furious. This thing is outrageous what Enshaw is doing. It's abusive federal power and authority. 185 Hecla miners and 50 to 100 contractors lost their jobs, but today production is back up. We believe the mine is in better condition today than any time in its history. Hecla CEO Philip Baker made the formal announcement this afternoon. The company spent $60 million since the mine closed to get it back open. This video from Hecla gives you an idea of what they did. The 5,900 foot deep silver mine shaft that was leaking was cleaned and renovated. Each worker was required to go through a week long safety training program and two new safety managers were hired. This is a mine that will be operating, we think for decades to come. Safety is important, not just because regulators are watching, but because two miners were killed in accidents in 2011. One of those attributed to a manager error. But through all the money spent, the changes made and the workers hired, the company says still they wouldn't have done anything differently. There's nothing that we've done in 2011 that I would, with the foresight that we had at the time, have done any differently. Now, when asked today, Baker said that not a single manager has been fired since the incidents of 2011. There are also no estimates of how much money the company lost. But the CEO gave a, uh, an equation today at the press conference, basically a guess, which equaled out to be roughly $135 million. That press conference is now on our website, KXOY.com. Ian Cole, KXOY4, HG News.